Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a Christmas what I got. Now Christmas is just around the corner so I probably won't be making much like I thought I was going to do. But oh well, at least I'll be able to get a couple of Christmas what I got before Christmas day. And uh, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer the movie. Today on a special Christmas what I got. Now back in 1964 Rankin and Bass created this TV special called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It was based off the song created in the 1930s or 1940s, I'm not sure. But this particular Christmas special would become a classic for years and years. And it's still being shown on TV today on CBS. Now it was originally shown on NBC. And uh, eventually CBS would eventually get the rights to it. To re-air it. And it's been re-airing to this date. And uh, it's still being watched today surprisingly. Of course I got the DVD release of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now if you don't have this particular release. You may want to pick this up. Because... The future DVD releases that were put out after this, and particularly the Blu-ray, they do not have any of the bonus features that are included on here. I don't know why, unfortunately, but I wish they would, honestly, because uh, I consider this the most definitive collection out there, and I think it's still available so if you don't have this, I recommend you picking this up. Now the bonus features include an interview with award winning Rudolph producer Arthur Rankin. It has an original TV promo in it. You get both Spanish version and the English version on here of Rudolph Rendell's Reindeer. And finally you get the Fame and Fortune song as a bonus feature. Now one person was so angry that the Fame and Fortune song was not on the Blu-ray release and that's the reason why I'm asking everybody to pick this up if you don't have it because this actually has the song as a bonus feature just in case you want to see it. Alright? And uh, it was released by Sony Wonder in 2002 and I'm going to show you the back here and that's what it looks like if you can see sorry about the darkness and uh, we open this up and you're just going to get a regular DVD there's no booklet whatever I think there was a advertisement right over here I think but besides that nothing else and uh, so Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Definitely pick this version up because this is the definitive version I can think of because the other definitive versions that I've checked does not have any of the bonus features on here. And uh, if you can find this on Amazon or eBay, get it because this is the definitive version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the TV special out there. Now the last thing we're going to talk about is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer the movie. The one on the left is the VHS release. The one on the right is the DVD release. Why do I got both of them? Well because I didn't think I could get this because Walmart didn't carry it and a couple other stores didn't carry it from around my area. I eventually got this from Media Play which of course is now out of business and uh, I was lucky to get this. Now I got this VHS release at a defunct movie plus 
which of course was going out of business at the time I actually got this used and at the time it was the only release I could get at the time because I couldn't see the DVD release but it was of course released in both formats so I'm not complaining but the difference is this this of course was released in 1998 this was released in 1999 a year after the VHS release now I don't know why they did it that way but oh well now of course the movie was released in 1998 theatrically for a brief time and then eventually got a VHS release and then a year later of course the DVD release now what are the differences between them well first off this is in 4x3 and this is in widescreen now I prefer this particular version over that why because video tapes can fade over time and eventually not look good unfortunately and it's not in its corrected format unlike this one of course the only problem with this is that I think it's out of print and uh, I've seen this go on Amazon for like 20 or 30 bucks and I think I originally got this around 10 or 15 bucks so I actually got this pretty cheap now the only flaw I should say about this is that it comes in a snapper case just like how Warner used to do them that's probably the only flaw and there's not much bonus features you only get a theatrical trailer anyway but it's nice to have plus the transfer looks good on here so if you cannot find this I I recommend you trying to find this because this is the finished version but if you can't find it just try to get the VHS release and put it on a DVD that way you'll at least have that I'm thinking about doing that to this someday but if you can find this it's a real lifesaver because this is a nice addition to your collection so that's all I gotta say about that uh, that of course was Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer in the movie and I did like this I surprisingly liked the movie they're both good I don't think it's as good as this but I thought it was uh, a good movie now this movie has John Goodman, Eric Idle, Bob Newhart, Richard Simmons, and Whoopi Goldberg. Now I know that John Goodman actually plays the Santa Claus in this movie. Now I also know that he plays the Santa Claus on an episode of Futurama. And you can find that particular episode on the DVD set Futurama Volume 2. Now when I was checking the credits for this particular movie, I saw that one of the voice directors is none other than the voice of Bucky O'Hare himself, Doug Parker, which was pretty cool. Now, Bucky O'Hare is a character from Bucky O'Hare and the Toll Wars, and Doug Parker played the voice of Bucky O'Hare from that show. It, it lasted only 13 episodes, and uh, unfortunately it didn't get another season. I wish it would have. It would have been nice. And I know one of the voice actors was also in Bucky O'Hare in the Toy Wars that is one of the uh, voice actors in this movie. So that's pretty nice I should say. That's pretty surprising the way you look at it. Found out that Doug Parker actually was one of the voice directors. Cool. <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. Now when I was looking through these I found out that the VHS tape, the running time on here says 90 minutes. Well, this says 1 hour and 24 minutes, which is 6 minutes shorter than 90 minutes. So I don't get that. I don't get why. Maybe it's because the UNICEF thing is 6 minutes longer. I don't know. I can tell you. But I don't know if that's a typo or not or what not. But oh well. So that's pretty much it. The 2002 release of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. 
The Sony Warner DVD release is the definitive version. Track it down on Amazon or eBay. And I recommend you checking this down as well, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in the movie DVD release. If you cannot find it cheaper on Amazon or eBay, track this down and make a DVD copy of it. You can usually find this new on Amazon and uh, it's a good offer, it's cheap. So that's pretty much it and uh, I recommend both of these. And of course if you cannot find this on DVD, track down the VHS release. So that's it everybody. Peace out everybody and Merry Christmas to you all.